Hello everyone and welcome to a video that's not really a video in itself but uh, rather an extension on the previous video where we showed the game between Vidit and Yanni Pomnishi uh, where we said what have well what kind of happened in this whole uh, fuss about the FIDE Online Chess Olympiad but we were well I was missing some facts as I rely too much on Twitter uh, for what, what actually happens in the world uh, but like I said when we will have an official statement from FIDE I will uh, keep you guys informed so here is the uh, official statement from FIDE regarding what happened uh, let's just enlarge this a little bit. So this this was posted yesterday. India and Russia declared joint winners of the online uh, FIDE Chess Olympiad. And uh, while uh, this is the uh, part that we've covered, after a 3-3 tie in the first round, where all six games ended in a draw, the second end uh, decisive match was impacted by a global internet outage. So it was not a problem uh, with the internet connection of only some of the players, but actually uh, it was a global internet outage that severely affected many countries, including India. Uh, two of the Indian players, Nihal Sarin and Divya Deshmukh, uh, lost connection towards the end of the game, subsequently losing on time. Uh, the incident happened when three games ended in draws and the outcome of the match was still unclear. Uh, as a result, Russia was initially proclaimed the winner of the match after being adjudicated a victory by 4.5 to 1.5 in the second round. However, India appealed the result on the grounds uh, that their players, along with hundreds of other users, were logged out of chess.com as, as a consequence of a massive internet outage uh, at the time of the games. As soon as the last game between Goryachkina and Hampi Kuneru was over, uh, Goryachkina won in a long battle uh, in a rook endgame. India appealed the match, uh, the match results on the grounds that their players, uh, okay, uh, we already said that, along with hundreds of others, were logged out of chess.com as a consequence of a massive internet outage at the time of uh, the games. Uh, the appeals committee examined all the evidence provided by chess.com as well as information gathered from other sources about uh, the Cloudflare crash uh, that caused the outage. <clears throat> Uh, after being informed of their considerations and in absence of a unanimous ver verdict, uh, the FIDE president made the decision to award gold medals to both teams. So the uh, uh, the committee couldn't reach a unanimous decision, so Arkady Dvorkovic uh, had, to, had to break the tie. Uh, it is very unfortunate that technical difficulties got in the way of the final. Until that moment, the match between India and Russia had been one of the most thrilling and balanced uh, seen in the 2020 online chess Olympiad. In the first round, like we mentioned, all games ended in draw but it was actually a narrow escape by Russia as India was clearly uh, pressing for a match win. Uh, Vidit and Nipomnishi, the game we've shown yesterday, uh, engaged in a fight in one of the sharpest lines of the Grunfeld defense and just when Vidit seemed to be very close to launching a decisive attack, uh, Jan found a jaw-dropping resource that sacrifice on, uh, of the rook on f2. One could call the, uh, the whole plan a gamble uh, and probably the engines will give a sentence that the move was not correct but chess is a sport. Uh, especially rapid chess and the counter-attack by the Russian star posed too many problems for his opponent. Uh, Nipomnishi created very serious threats uh, and it was Vidit who, go, who uh, had to go for the perpetual check. Uh, then here uh, Fide addresses the, the match with, between Hampi Koneri and Katarina Lahno, saying that uh, also they went for a sharp Grunfeld line that evolved into a very unbalanced position. Hampi was an exchange up but her pawn structure was destroyed and Lahno. Uh, had the bishop pair later on, the game was transformed into an ending where the Indian uh, had two rooks against the queen. Humpy was clearly winning, but with an exposed king and being in severe time trouble, she failed to escape the perpetual check by Lachno, uh, and the game ended in a threefold repetition. Uh, regarding Alexandra Kostenyuk, she was probably the only Russian player who enjoyed a favorable position in the first round. She came out of the opening with a uh, with the, the pair of bishops and better piece placement and with a steady hand. She took the game to a better ending, it was probably the right decision, but the endgame advantage proved to be uh, more difficult to convert than it seemed at first. And the game ended in a draw, uh, the sixth in the match. So the second round started with important changes in both teams. Uh, India threw Anand into the battle, Vidit moved to uh, board 2, replacing Hari Krishna, and Nihal Sarin replaced Pragdananda. Uh, on the Russian side, Dubov, Goryachkina, and Esipenko replaced uh, Artemiev, Lahno, and Sarana, respectively. Uh, Anand played a very solid game against Nipomnishi, probably as a part of the team's strategy, where India put its hopes mainly on the lower boards. Uh, Vidit playing with white accepted upon sacrifice by Dubov, an ingenious plan that allowed Black to quickly activate his pieces and get a very comfortable play. The two top boards ended in a draw. Uh, then they mentioned Alexandra Goryachkina scored the only victory for the Russian team against Hampi Koneru, the runner-up of the 2020 Women's World Championship, uh, played a good game uh, where she obtained an advantage and once again demonstrated her excellent technique. 
uh, this game was affected by connectivity issues as Humpy got disconnected and even though she could reconnect before the time ran out, she lost some very valuable time. Two other games were affected by the same issues. Uh, came to uh, that uh, that were uh, affected by the same issues came to an abrupt end. At the moment of this connection, Ihal Sarin was defending his grounds against uh, Andrei Sipenko, who enjoyed a certain advantage. At the girls' board, Divya Deshmuk uh, was on the verge of a victory against Polina Shuvalova. Uh, it was just a matter of time until a decisive attack can be launched. Under the time control, uh, having an attack against the king is likely. Uh, being one pawn up, joked Kramnik about the position of this game. Uh, the engines uh, actually value the position plus two in White's favor. Uh, so with one of the two games very likely to be an Indian victory, the match seemed uh, destined to be decided again in an Armageddon game, but the incident with the disconnection did not let it happen. The ensuing decision under these unprecedented circum circumstances was to award gold medal to both teams. Uh, even if shared, this can be considered the first victory of India India in a chess Olympiad and the first one for Russia since 2002. And here we have the official statement by FIDE President Arkady Dvorkovich, the one we were, we were waiting for. Uh, the online chess Olympiad has been impacted by a global internet outage that severely affected several countries. Uh, including India, two of the Indian players have been affected and lost connection when the outcome of the match was still unclear. The appeals committee has examined all the evidence provided by chess.com as well as information gathered from other sources about the internet outage after being informed of their considerations and in absence of a unanimous decision and taken into account these unprecedented circumstances. Uh, as FIDE president, I made the decision to award gold medals to both teams. So th there we have it. The, that's the official statement by FIDE. Uh, and uh, regarding uh, the matter of uh, uh, also uh, Armenia filing an appeal uh, and uh, Levonarian being very, very unhappy about a similar thing that happened to Armenia here, FIDE also addresses that. Uh, they said that following the disconnection of Haik Martirosian, the Armenian team filed uh, an official appeal that was rejected by the appeals committee formed by FIDE President Arkady Dvorkovich, Michael Kodorkovsky and Sava Stoisavljevic. Uh, not satisfied with the decision, Armenia defaulted the second match uh, and as a result India is through to the semi-final. So that's why of course uh, Armenians were very unhappy. And here you can see the appeals committee resolution here. So here FIDE addresses uh, why they uh, declines, uh, declined Armenia's appeal. Uh, the appeals committee considered the protest of the Armenian team against the result of the first match of the India-Armenia quarterfinal. In this match, the game between Nihal Sarin and Haik Martirosian was considered a defeat for the Armenian team after its player got disconnected. According to the regulations of the event, which were discussed in detail with team captains, the quality and stability of the internet connection is the sole responsibility of the players. So if you have a bad connection, that's your fault. If something happens, if it's your fault, unless there's like a global outage like in the uh, in the case of the India-Russia. Uh, but also there is something very interesting here. Uh, the appeals committee would like to point out that as a general rule, section 2 of the blah blah blah, uh, the quality of the internet connection is the responsibility of the player, including its rel uh, reliability and stability. The practice of applying this point during the Olympiad has been already established in previous incidents. Among other examples, the Indian national team, the current rival of Armenia in this match, lost two games in a match with the Mongolian team precisely for reasons of the quality of the internet. Thus, in order to overcome this presumption, the evidence of the site's guilt must be direct and prove the guilt beyond any doubt. Uh, no other reliable evidence uh, of problems on the game server was presented uh, to the appeals committee, in addition to the general conclusion provided by the Armenian team. The appeals committee also noted that there were problems with the quality of the internet in one of the other games uh, of the match, uh, where the normal course of the game was restored three minutes after the failure. No appeal was filed by any of the teams in this case. Uh, in the game uh, being considered as part of the appeal, the Armenian player had about 50 seconds to restore the connection, which turned out to be insufficient. Uh, in the current situation, any other decision would be in, uh, inc inconsistent with the tournament regulations, creating uh, a precedent that could lead Lead to further conflicting situations. The appeals committee also finds that any other decision would be unfair to the opposing team. In view of this, the appeals committee decided to reject the appeal of the Armenian team. The Armenian team will not be charged uh, charged for presenting this appeal. Uh, somewhere, somewhere I read, uh, I don't know if it was here, but uh, supposedly the Armenian team. Uh, when they lost connection uh, with with the server, their Zoom, uh, their Zoom convert, uh, you know, their Zoom uh, 
uh, was still on. So it's not like they lost internet, they just lost connection to the server. Now, I'm, I'm not, uh, my knowledge on these things is, well, average at best. So if someone uh, maybe who is more tech savvy can shed some light on this, is it possible to lose like uh, connection to the server, but not uh, for, for your, for example, Zoom call to be interrupted uh, and that, it, that it's still your fault and not the, the site's fault? I don't know, it sounds sounds very weird. Uh, but uh, this is FIDE's official statement about uh, how they handle the situation uh, regarding the India, uh, India's match with uh, uh, Armenia and also why uh, Arkady Dvorkovic declared what he did regarding the finals of the 2020 FIDE Online Olympiad uh, between uh, India and Russia. So there you have it, uh, we're sh shedding some light on the matter. Like we said, we will after FIDE uh, gives the uh, official statement. So all in all, it's, I mean, uh, when we shifted everything to, to the, you know, online environment, of course, uh, things like this will happen and we don't have anything in the rules that, uh, you know, uh, can prepare us for such things. Of course, uh, they, they made some arrangements before the actual tournaments and they are improving them all the time. Uh, but sometimes, uh, I mean, what if the entire world loses the internet for like half an hour? What's, what do we do then? Do we just punish the players uh, if they were on the move and they lost on time? Or do we repeat the entire match, all six boards? Uh, for example, I don't know if. Uh, okay, here in this case, it was uh, the the result of the match was unclear. But w what would be the decision if, for example, uh, three of the boards were winning, or maybe if uh, you know five boards was uh, five boards already made a draw, and on one board, uh, I don't know, one player had a mate in one when the outage happened. I mean. It's a very tricky situation and I don't see it being resolved easily in online environment. Uh, but uh, that's, I mean, that's what this is. This is an online event and should not have, uh, you know, uh, the, the, the same, uh, I don't know how, how to put it, maybe the, the same importance as, as an actual live, uh, you know, in, in person event uh, as things like this just, uh, it will happen, and uh, I I, th I don't think we still uh, have the technology to you know um, make sure that n and none of this ever happens. Uh, but uh, that's basically it. Uh, that's uh, Fide's official statement. I do hope you enjoyed it. Like I said, this isn't uh, a video. This is just an extension on the previous video. Uh, so uh, thank you for watching. Uh, have an excellent start of your week, and uh, I will see you soon continuing the Morphe saga and whatever else happens uh, in the chess world. Uh, thank you, uh, and see you soon, guys.